In this video, we'll look at problem solving with combinations. These questions come from your textbook, page 287, number 8 and number 9. First, number 8 says there's a team of 6 students to be selected from a class of 30. So I have a class of 30 and I'm going to choose 6. But it has different parts. Part A says how many different teams, in this case there's no restrictions, so the number of teams is just 30 people, choose six of them, which is going to be, what's 30, choose six, and you get 593,775. Quick word answer, there are 593,775 teams. B. B says, Pierre, Gregory, and Miguel are students in this class. How many of the teams would include these three students? So, include Pierre, Gregory, and Miguel. Well, if we have to include those three, then really, our number of teams just changes our choices. That is, we take these three students, we already put them on the team, we now have 27 students left to choose from, and we only have to choose three. So we go to our trusty calculator again and say, what's 27 choose three? And we're down to a lot less possibilities. In this case, there are 2,925 teams possible. Part C, same situation, except this time, how many teams would not include Pierre, Gregory, and Miguel? The easiest way to do this is just say, the number of teams equals the total possible minus the teams with Pierre, Gregory, and Miguel. What are the total possible number of teams? Well, we already calculated up there, but I'll just show the work again. There are 30 choose 6 possible teams and there were 27 choose 3 teams with Pierre, Gregory, and Miguel. In other words, there were 593,775 possible teams. I want to take away all the teams that have both Pierre and Gregory and Miguel. So I just go 593,775 minus 2,925 and I get 590,850. So in this case, there are 590,850 possible teams. That's question eight done. Question nine on the same page talks about the card game Euchre that uses only the nines, tens, jacks, queens, kings, and aces from a standard deck of cards. And it's gonna ask about five card hands. So, nines, tens, jacks, queen, king, aces. That's 24 cards that we're looking at, just the nines, tens, jacks, queen, king, and aces. And it wants to choose five cards hands, so choose five. 9A, there's different parts here. 9A says, what's the number of ways or number of five card hands where A, they're all red cards? It helps if you know cards here, but of these 24 cards, 12 of them are going to be red, and 12 of them are going to be black. So if you have to choose five and they're all red, then the number of hands that are all red means from these 12 red cards, you have to choose all five. So what's 12 choose five? 792. So there are 792 hands given the restriction of all red. Part B says, at least two red cards. At least two red cards. That's gonna be a bit trickier, because now we have to think about, well, what if there's two red cards, three red cards, four red cards, or five red cards? And you can do it that way, but a better way might be instead to figure out how many total ways 
there are. In this case, how many total ways can you draw any five cards at all? 24 cards. Choose five. And then I'm going to subtract how many ways you can get one red card or no red cards. Now let's look at what I've set up here. I'm going to take, I want at least two red cards. So I could calculate, and there would have four cases, how many ways could I have two red cards, or three red cards, or four red cards, or five red cards, and add them all together. But instead, I'm going to calculate how many possible hands are there, and then subtract all the hands that have one red card. I should say red card with no S. Or no red cards. So there are 24 choose five ways to have all the possible hands. That's 42,504. How many ways are there to have one red card? Well, of the 12 red cards, choose one. And then times that by, of the 12 black cards, choose your other four cards. That's going to be 12 times, it's 12 choose four, 495, which is equal to 12 times 495, 5,940. Better put a line here, it's getting kind of squishy. How many ways can you have zero red cards? Very easy to calculate. If there's zero red cards, you just choose from the 12 black cards, all five. What's 12 choose five? 792. So, how many ways can you have two red cards? is just going to be the total number of ways 42,504 minus one red card and minus no red cards so what's 42,504 minus 5940 minus 792 and I get 35,772 therefore there are 35,772 different hands this way. That's part B. Part C in the same question says a little different. Instead of at least two red cards, it says at most two red cards. So this time, instead of subtracting from the total, I think I'll just calculate. If I have to have at most two red cards, I could just calculate three cases. Case one, no red cards the number of hands with no red cards well that's just we already calculated that 12 of the black cards choose all five and that's down here zero red cards what's 12 choose five 792 case two you could have one red card and we already calculated that as well but we'll show our work again number of hands where you have one red card is 12 choose one times 12 choose 4, that is 1 red card and 4 black cards, which is 12 times 495, which is 5,940. Put a little line there if that helps. In case 3, you have exactly 2 red cards. If you had 2 red cards, the number of hands would be take from your 12 red cards and choose 2, and multiply that by take from your 12 black cards and choose the other three. Now I have to do this. I'm calculating. 12 choose 2. That's 66 times 12 choose 3. That's 220. What's 220 times 66? 14,520. So your total, hands, is just going to be to add them all up. That is, it's no red cards plus one red card plus two red cards. Let's add them all up. 14,520 plus 5,940 plus 792 and you get 21,252. Therefore, there are 21,252 hands with at most two red cards. And so those are a bunch of different examples of problem solving with combinations.